I used to download all these packs and then just go through and just take the stuff I like and just delete the rest. When Splice came around, I was pretty early on it, you know, and I was just like, oh, this is different. You can actually go through and just take the exact sounds that you want out of the pack. So that was a game changer. I used to download all these packs and then just go through and just take the stuff I like and just delete the rest. When Splice came around, I was pretty early on it, you know, and I was just like, oh, this is different. You can actually go through and just take the exact sounds that you want out of the pack. So that was a game changer. I used to download all these packs and then just go through and just take the stuff I like and just delete the rest. When Splice came around, I was pretty early on it, you know, and I was just like, I was like, oh, this is different. You can actually go through and just take the exact sounds that you want out of the pack. So that was a game changer. I used to download all these packs and then just go through and just take the stuff I like and just delete the rest. When Splice came around, I was pretty early on it, you know, and I was just like, I was like, oh, this is different. You can actually go through and just take the exact sounds that you want out of the pack. So that was a game changer. I used to download all these packs and then just go through and just take the stuff I like and just delete the rest. When Splice came around, I was pretty early on it, you know, and I was just like, I was like, oh, this is different. You can actually go through and just take the exact sounds that you want out of the pack. So that was a game changer. I used to download all these packs and then just go through and just take the stuff I like and just delete the rest. When Splice came around, I was pretty early on it, you know, and I was just like, I was like, oh, this is different. You can actually go through and just take the exact sounds that you want out of the pack. So that was a game changer. I used to download all these packs and then just go through and just take the stuff I like and just delete the rest. When Splice came around, I was pretty early on it, you know, and I was just like, I was like, oh, this is different. You can actually go through and just take the exact sounds that you want out of the pack. So that was a game changer. I used to download all these packs and then just go through and just take the stuff I like and just delete the rest. When Splice came around, I was pretty early on it, you know, and I was just like, I was like, oh, this is different. You can actually go through and just take the exact sounds that you want out of the pack. So that was a game changer. I used to download all these packs and then just go through and just take the stuff I like and just delete the rest. When Splice came around, I was pretty early on it, you know, and I was just like, it's like, oh, this is different. You can actually go through and just take the exact sounds that you want out of the pack. So that was a game changer. I used to download all these packs and then just go through and just take the stuff I like and just delete the rest. When Splice came around, I was pretty early on it, you know, and I was just like, it's like, oh, this is different. You can actually go through and just take the exact sounds that you want out of the pack. So that was a game changer. I used to download all these packs and then just go through and just take the stuff I like and just delete the rest. When Splice came around, I was pretty early on it, you know, and I was just like, I was like, oh, this is different. You can actually go through and just take the exact sounds that you want out of the pack. So that was a game changer. I used to download all these packs and then just go through and just take the stuff I like and just delete the rest. When Splice came around, I was pretty early on it, you know, and I was just like, it's like, oh, this is different. You can actually go through and just take the exact sounds that you want out of the pack. So that was a game changer. I 
used to download all these packs and then just go through and just take the stuff I like and just delete the rest. When Splice came around, I was pretty early on it, you know, and I was just like, was like, oh, this is different. You can actually go through and just take the exact sounds that you want out of the pack. So that was a game changer.
even by disabling the sound, I should be able to do so. All right. Let's see if that worked. All right, Let's see if that worked. Interesting. Okay. So this is a live Q and a, um, this is going to be about cakewalk by Bain lab. It can be about anything music production that you might have a question about. Um, do apologize for the slight hiccup there. <laughs> I'm trying to stream this into different locations at the same time. So it's kind of causing a little bit of a hiccup here. But with that being said, I think we're, I don't give me, don't quote me on this, but I think we're good now. All right, let's see. Maybe. Okay. Nonetheless, um, I know at least I'm coming through here on YouTube. So this is the main channel anyway. So, uh, yeah, welcome back all of you. Thank you so much for showing up today. Thank you for any first timers that we have in the chat. If you are a first timer, you know what that means. Ladies and gentlemen, we give them a big round of applause. Awesome. And um, as is customary, we want to, of course, make sure that we're giving honor where honor is due. And by that, I mean, there are some awesome individuals around here that are really helping out with keeping this place going. So let's give them a huge shout out. These are the HSS chart toppers. These are folks who have time and time again, sponsored the show, whether it's through a monthly membership or it is through, um, the YouTube membership, Patreon, which we're kind of getting away from now. Um, or it could be something uh, like a one-time super chat. So thank you so much for that. Um, all of you who are on this list, those of you who are yet to be on this list, you guys rock. So thank you all so much. Now, just about spilled my coffee. That that's not good. So what is up, Chris? With that being said, I also want to let you know if this is your first time here, you're wondering, what is this all about? Well, this channel exists to simplify the complexities of the home studio and to help you make professional sounding music in a less than professional space. The motto around here is that we can dream alone. We can even create alone, but together we can achieve so much more. Now, Let's give a shout out to a real quick shout out to our sponsor, and then we'll get straight into today's topic. Today's video is sponsored in part by the Pro Mix Academy. The Pro Mix Academy offers affordable courses from mentors, world-class engineers, Grammy winners, and multi-platinum selling producers. And with the resources available on the Pro Mix Academy, you can learn how to create radio ready mixes from the comfort of your own home studio. Most of the courses also offer multi-tracks that you can then add to your portfolio and begin to build out your business. Follow the link in the description of this video to head on over to the Pro Mix Academy today and start learning the skills that are needed to take your hobby or your business and to the next level. Okay, <laughs> welcome back, y'all. We are trying our best to get this to stream to various uh, places at the same time. It worked last time around, but just like anything that we do live, it never, it never pans out the same way twice. Uh, so supposedly I'm actually streaming right now to, let's see, to Twitch, to Facebook, to the Facebook page, uh, also to LinkedIn and, um, somewhere else that I'm not sure of. Um, but yeah, with that being said, hopefully that's, that's, uh, that's working. <laughs> 
I don't know if the sound is even coming through from, from what we're doing here. So we'll see. But um, we had a question already kind of populated here in the chat. I want to make sure we get to that. Uh, let me get my mug out here. And then adjust this camera so I'm not in a weird part of the circle. There we go. So for the first question that i seen pop up here, let's see if I can bring that up. There it is. Can you please talk about the importing part of Cakewalk for film scoring? So this is kind of a tricky question because, uh, and I appreciate your, your question as well, VTX Rudy. And I believe, ladies and gentlemen, he's a first timer. So with that being said, so Cakewalk used to have this feature um, that was very prominent for individuals, especially film people who were doing film scoring and things of this nature. For those of you who didn't know, within Cakewalk, you could actually open up what was called a video, uh, a video track. And although you couldn't like edit the video per se within Cakewalk, one thing that you could do is you could actually sync your audio up to the video as you were looking at it. And so like if I was to, um, we'll just open up a new project here real quick open up a blank one. So typically if I was to open up a project like this and press the V button, well, look at that. There's a video section. Now this uh, used to be actually pretty prominent. A lot of people talked about it. A lot of people used it. However, over the past few years, it's kind of fizzled out and a lot of people aren't using it because there's so many other things that you can use out there that honestly get the job done better. That's not to say that you can't still utilize it because as you can see, you can go to, I can zoom in here. You can actually go to insert video from here, open video view, display absolute frames and show and hide thumbnails. Um, so there are still some options in here, but I don't know that the support is there anymore like it used to be. So if I was going to use this now, I would just simply go to import video and then I would find a video. Those are going to be much too long. So my, let me, uh, let me look over here real quick. Try to find something a little shorter so it won't be so crazy. Okay. Let's see. How about, how about this? Okay, so it's going to take a minute here. It's going to import the audio just underneath the video. And it's also going to give me this area right here, which is going to be what's called big time. Let me get this out of the way real quick. So when I have big time up here, <laughs> it's going to actually show me the, the time. I'm sorry, this isn't big time. This is actually the video viewer within Cakewalk. Um, Big time was actually up here, I think, somewhere. Yeah, here it is. This is big time. So this shows you in big time where your video frames are at, or if you have it set up to SMPTE, something like that. Um, and then you can switch back and forth between the various elements here. Here's the cool thing, though. Um, let me close this out. As you notice, it automatically brought in the audio as well. And so if I come up here, right click on this, I can show and hide thumbnails. I can do the same from over here. And then I can show and hide frame numbers. So it automatically kind of like syncs up with things. I believe this is based off of how far you zoom in too. You can actually see more frame numbers. So with that being said, um, Yes, Chris, it's usually around 2 p.m., 3 p.m. Eastern Daylight Savings Time. So. Um, with that being said, sorry, I was getting caught up in the chat there. Um, yeah, it's it's one of those things that it's not widely used, so. I can't really give too much of a 
in-depth tutorial or anything like that on there. However, what I can say is that as far as I know, it does still work. I mean, I can't say that I honestly use it a lot, if at all. <laughs> um, but yeah, it does still work. And then if you click over here, you can actually get the video up down here again. So with that being said, does it work? Yes. Is it very user friendly? I don't, I don't think so. I haven't really used it as much as I did in times past. In times past, I actually edited an entire, um, it was like a promotional video, I think, for Pond 5. Um, and that was pretty cool. Actually, I can probably bring that up and show you guys. And I actually did that within Cakewalk as well. So looks like we got uh, 28 viewers and 11 likes. Come on, guys. Smash that like button if you know what's good for you. That's what all the kids are doing nowadays, right? Smashing like buttons. Let me go into my backlog here within the... Uh, YouTube studio, maybe I'll be able to pull up that video I was talking about so that you can kind of see what I was talking about here. Gosh, this was an old video too, so it's, it might, it's going to be way back in the backlogs. If you're just coming on, the, uh, the question that was presented was about the video feature that's within Cakewalk by BandLab. So what you're actually seeing is a little known feature that is called uh, the video audio audio video feature. I'm not sure that it has a specific name. I'm just making that up. Um, <laughs> but this is the reason why, like at the top of the screen, you'll notice that you have, um, where's it at? In the custom section, no, the sync section, you'll see you have 30 frames per second, non-drop. This is why this is here. It's for audio video syncing. So at one point in time, this was actually pretty robust. Uh, the video feature of it, that is. As of right now, the entire program is robust, minus the video feature. Then again, it might still be good. I, I shouldn't knock it until I've actually tried it, but um, it's been a long time since I've actually brought something in here and tried to use it. And I still have yet to find this video, and I'm like almost two years back now. Let's see. Mm -hmm. It's under, okay, well, hold on. I put it under submission, I believe. No. Hmm. Yeah, I'll just keep going back farther. Maybe it's even farther than that. Ah, there it is. Make Music Day Submission. Now, this was for a contest. Okay, let me pull this up. So this video, they provided the video. And then all I had to do was provide the backing music to it. And then I had to edit the video to fit the backing music. It was kind of like a little, um, like a test type thing that they were trying to see who could come up with the most unique music. So this music is, is mine and the video is theirs.
was in uh, June 21st of, it doesn't really say what time it was. But yeah, that's, um, I actually did all of the syncing up with the audio and video elements on that using Cakewalk by BandLab. So it can be done. It's just a matter of whether or not you want to use it. So we got some bromance in the chat going on here between Mark and Mob. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that in the least bit. All right. So that's that. I had a couple of other questions here. I want to make sure that I try my best to get to everybody's questions. So I'll be scrolling back up through the backlog of these. Da -da -da -da. What's up, Bops New York? What is up, DJ Big Red 81? Jossie Music, good to see you back. BTX Rudy. Da -da -da -da. Chris Parrott, hey, good. Oh, Chad Parrott, sorry. Good to see you. First timer. Elf tone. First timer. There's your elf tone right there. Norm Evans, good to see you back again. Jurgen's all up in this chat. And of course, Mob the Gamer. Let's see. Yeah. Herky Acuff is in here. Good deal. Chris Coral. Good to see you again. Or Corral. Coral. Micah, what is up? Mm -hmm. well done to the chart toppers DJ I remember you <laughs> all right let's see he says he's not sure if that's a good thing my space isn't professional, but I can act it. So that's the beauty of this channel. That's the beauty of this community. If you would ever take a little peruse through some of the videos that we've uploaded here um, and over on the VIP membership, we're going to start uploading some of those as well where we talk about um, our studio spaces. And and um, it's, it's really amazing to see what people are working with. Like everybody in this chat, I guarantee you, does not have a million dollar studio. I guarantee it. Uh, but they still make it work. And that's the beauty of it. You don't have to have a million dollar studio these days to get excellent sound. You just have to know what to do with what you have. So it's just a matter of trying to figure out, you know, wrap your head around whatever it might be um, that you're trying to figure out. So uh, go ahead and close that out. All right. But yeah, moral of the story, you don't have to have a professional studio to get professional sounds. Jurgen says, I wanted to work on a song this evening, but now there's this live stream. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Chris. I appreciate that. Actually, I stole this from my son, actually. Thank you for that. Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. Good deal. Good deal. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, so we already covered this, but I'll just, I'll say it again. So this is uh, not necessarily the standard time because the time usually varies anywhere from 2 p.m. or I should say 12 p.m. all the way up until 4 p.m. sometimes. Um, but usually it's within that window. Most of the time it's 2 p.m. And because of the shift that I work uh, outside of the studio, or I, I should say outside of this bedroom studio, the shift that I work um, dictates that I have a live stream either Wednesday and Thursday, one of those days on one week, and then on the next week it's usually Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, sometimes even Monday or Tuesday if I have an interview, which if you guys are hip to the game, um, and you just checked out the recent upcoming events on the HSS upcoming events tab, which is on the website. Uh, actually, that's only available, I believe, for VIP members. Um, there's going to be a pretty, pretty cool interview coming up pretty soon with Sarah Carter. We finally got a, a date nailed down, so hopefully we can just get a time nailed down this time around, and she'll be able to do that. Last time she had some stuff come up, so Chris... 
we're going to make it happen. Mark, we're going to make it happen. So. Thank you, Robert. You know it for. <laughs> You're very welcome. CN Railcar, Canadian National. Oh, I didn't know that. Hmm. There's a good question. Where can we get the skin? The same like your cakewalk theme. Okay, so that's also available if you join the HSF, HSS VIP membership. So there is a link in the description of this video where you can head over and check that out. If you are interested in getting into that soon, within the next three days, there's still a 50% off code available for those who want to get in on the VIP membership with a their first month being 50% off. So your first month, you would only pay $4.99, and then it would be $9.99 each additional month after that. And so far, we've already uploaded a lot of cool videos on there. There's a lot, already um, a new core training section up there, and I'm constantly updating this thing based off of the opinions and the feedback that I'm getting. So thank you so much, Jurgen and individuals, um, Mob the Gamer, who have hopped on there and have helped me to uh, work through some things on there and also just to make things more appeasing. Um, you know, one person trying to do everything on their own would be a nightmare with this, but thankfully I have a great and an awesome community of individuals who are, are helping me out all the time. I know DJ Big Red, 81, Big Red 81 is another individual who is all the time helping out in the chats. And um, thank you so much for that. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get this coupon discount link and I'll just go ahead and post it in the chat for those of you who are here today. All right. So if you are in the chat, you're here today, I'm going to go ahead and pin this to the top so it doesn't go away. If you want to get in on the VIP membership today, all the way up until I believe it's Friday, it ends in like three, three, two and a half, three days. Um, you can get your first month for $4.99 and then each additional month for $9.99 after that. I guarantee you're going to like it. A lot of cool stuff in there. Free multi-tracks. There's re all of the reaction videos that I'm doing here on the channel are uploaded there as well without copyright strikes, without missing audio. And you can also download the multi-tracks from those videos there as well as a special perk for being for being involved. So Now, Chris, if you... Um, did not get a chance to sign up and you're wanting to sign up and you're wanting to get that 50% off, just shoot me an email, robert at homestudiosimplified.com or homestudiosimplified at gmail.com, either one of those email addresses, and I'll, I will get you a, um, a discount. And if you're already a member, shoot me an email and I'll go ahead and give you uh, your next month 50% off. No harm, no foul. Okay, so yeah, that is all available on the VIP membership group if you'd like to get it, to be a part of that. Um, I also, I don't have it for sale in the store per se as of right now uh, because I wanted that to be like an extra added perk for joining the membership. However, by way of the chat, by way of the people, I like to run this democratically. So if you guys want to see this in the store as a one-off buy, let me know. I'll, I'll include that into the store as well so you can just go and purchase that. Uh, they are on eBay right now, I believe, for $10 or $12 a piece. That's $10, and you can get my template for $12. So. Anywho, <laughs> I'm going back into sounding like a used car salesman. Ladies and gentlemen, you know what just happened. The room just, just lit up like a Christmas tree. As you can see, there's there's... Check this out. See all them disco lights in the background? That's because we had a very kind individual, Bops New York, who just donated a $10 super chat. Thank you so much. He says he can't swing the VIP yet, but here's a donation to the cause. Well, thank you so much. Appreciate that. Now the room is lit up like a disco ball because of his generous donation. So another feature around here on the channel, if you're not aware of it, whenever you donate through super chat, you get to blind me with these lights <laughs> that are flying around the room right now. Awesome. All right, let's answer some more questions. Go back through here and let's see. 
Nice, says Micah. I think X.O has done a video on this when he did a car commercial. Yes, I believe he did. Used to be Smashing Pumpkins. Rob, could you tell us about your future plans and features for the VIP section in your website? Absolutely. So let's just go ahead and for those of you that are here today, I'll just go ahead and show you sort of what it would look like inside the VIP members section so that if you're you're wondering, well, what's that all about? What does it look like? You can kind of see uh, on the back end what you would see if you were a member. Let me get that pulled up here for you. Uh, while we're doing that, um, there is, so I have a ton of ideas. It's just the time to implement all of these things. Um, but there is definitely some features that I want to build into this moving forward that I think is going to benefit everybody, but it has to be, I want to do it right. If you've, if you've hung around the channel for very long, you know that I don't try to do anything slipshod or try to do anything to where it's not, not done well. When I do something, I like to do it right. And so uh, with that being said, there are some things that I really want to implement into the VIP membership area that just to be honest, I'm going to need everybody's help with. And what I mean by help is I'm going to need your, basically your guidance. I'm going to need your help in like, what, what, what do I need to do here? Okay. So moving forward, any kind of help that you guys can give, I would greatly appreciate. So right off the bat, here's what the VIP membership will look like if you are a first timer signing into here. Okay. So you'll notice that in here you have a couple of different options. If you're new, it says to click here and I'll zoom into that. And the reason for that is because I wanted to create a way to, oops. Okay, so this is the library section. I'll get to this in just a minute. Um, this is the library section, and this is the area where all of your products that you might purchase through the store are gonna be in this area. So whatever you might've purchased from the store, it's all gonna be in here forever. So once you purchase it, you can always come back here and get that, get access to it. It all stays here online, so you don't even have to download it onto your computer. You don't have to, you know, waste a bunch of space on a hard drive. And I have backups of all of these too. So if anything happens, the site goes down, you're like, man, I was on video number four, right in the middle of it. And I needed, you know, I can still get that to you if that is ever an issue. I always make sure to have backups as well. So, but if I was to go to my library and let's say I, I had a VIP membership, I could just simply go in here to view product and this would bring me back here. So this is the welcome page. And I think what got messed up was the new click here is now linked to the announcements tab, which it wasn't supposed to be. But anyway, <laughs> so if you're new, here's a welcome page for you. Just tells you a little bit about the community. And basically I'm, I'm giving the uh, sort of the, the plea, like don't just come here and watch a bunch of videos, like get involved, meet people, learn from people, share with one another. That's, that's really what this is all about. That's what I want to see. So if you're new, watch this. There we go. So this top video is basically just showing individuals because I had a little bit of a problem with, um, a little bit of a problem with individuals not knowing like what this button up here did. So this is, there's no audio to it. It's just a real quick video showing you like, Hey, you can click on your picture and there's other settings here. And then this video here is an onboarding video. Hey there, I wanted to personally thank you so much for signing up for the VIP membership. And on top of this, it's also going to take you, this is an unlisted video on YouTube, but it's going to take you through each of these tabs, what they mean, basically what I'm doing right now. So, but then we have our core training section within the core training. This is going to be some core audio training that you're going to need, like something you might get as a primer from a school. 
So like, say for instance, you were sitting down inside of a classroom, they would say, okay, let's begin with some foundational things, some building blocks to get you where you need to be. So if one of the first things I talk about here, and this is going to be updated as time allows, but one of the first things I talk about is listening levels. So this whole video here, today we're going to be talking only about on the level. VIP community. Uh, this is not on YouTube. I talk about listening levels. I give you the access to download a, an app here that right onto your phone that can help you to measure DBs within your listening space. And then I talk about the Fletcher Munson curve, which we kind of get a little nerdy on it, but I also show you a, <laughs> um, we get a little nerdy on things at, at times, but I try to keep everything as simple as possible. Hence the term simplified. So this is the core training section. So this is going to be like the foundational, the building blocks, the things that may not necessarily be like a cool mixing tip or trick tutorial style type thing. It's just going to be like a concept. It's going to be, you know, something maybe even esoteric, you know, I don't know. And then the tutorial section, I'm going to fill this up as we move along here with tutorials based off of what you guys are needing. And these are going to also be exclusive tutorials for you guys. So you guys are going to say, you know, as a group, you're going to say, Hey, we would like to see a tutorial on this. I'll get to making that tutorial. It's a win-win because I don't have to worry so much about including all of the fancy editing and all of that stuff, because I know that you guys are just wanting the meat and taters, so to speak. I don't have to have a four hour long intro about like, and subscribe and share this video with all of your friends. I can just get straight into the meat straight onto the screen, show you exactly how to do something, and then it's done. And then in the analysis tab up here, we have various mixed critiques from individuals who have uh, purchased that, and then they were gracious enough to say, yes, you can include those on your VIP. So this one was a mixed critique from a song called Circle the Wagons by Mark Bergstuller. And basically it's a 10 minute video where I go hey, through, Mark, check his song out and show him some things that I might do to improve it. I give him some tips on how to improve that. Same thing here with Leon's, uh, Leon's song here. And then also like any of the reaction and breakdown videos that I do are also going to be on here. So Superstition by Stevie Wonder, that's on here and you can watch it without any commercials. You can watch it without any craziness going on. And uh, on top of that, I believe these are today we're listening to the raw studio. Yeah, these are going to be, they'll still sound like they're on YouTube because they are from YouTube. Uh, the videos here are, but they won't have the copyright strikes, the missing information, the weird, awkward silences. And then over here to the right hand side, you can see where you can actually download those multi tracks for Stevie wonders superstition right here. And then in the bonus section, that's where there is a ton of bonuses, including the theme that we're using today. So here's mixing base simplified 15 steps to a better mix, seven tips for a better mix, or it's actually 15 step mixing process, seven steps to a better mix. Here's my theme. You can go and download that. Uh, it also at the bottom of the page right here is a download button. So some of them will be on the side. Some of them will be at the bottom of the, the page here. Here's the sheen theme. If you've not seen this one yet, it's sort of similar to the one I'm using, except for it kind of looks like an Apple app that you might see on your phone. It's got like that shiny look to it. And then here's my pro start template, which actually gives you um, a lot of cool features too. All of these are normally paid for things within like the eBay store or on the HSS store that you can, you get access to all of that here um, just by becoming a VIP member. So likewise, you have access to a community. So if I click on the community tab down here, it's going to take me over here to this community where it's, it's much like Facebook. Or you can come in here and there's different topics. You can either choose a topic to kind of spin off of, whether it's a collaboration, some feedback you want to offer for the website or for the group, or even feedback for a mix or something like that. Studio picks, a general discussion area, and then a Q&A area if you have a question that you'd like to, to talk about there. As you can see, Mob the Gamer is already up in here. Um, and then up here at the top, you can return back to your dashboard just by clicking that and it takes you right back here. So it's seamless. You can just bounce back and forth between the two. And the rep, the website is also phone responsive, it's mobile responsive, and it's very quick. I've not noticed a lot of lag, even though I've got quite a bit of stuff going on. So that's really cool. Likewise, up here at the top, you can see there is a VIP vid video chat. 
So you can join um, this new app that I've decided to use called Volley, which will allow us to talk back and forth with short bursts of videos. It's kind of cool. Like one person will record a short video or audio and you don't have to record video, but you can come in here and you can record a short video on um, your phone and say, Hey guys, I had a question about this. What do you think about my new microphone? And like be showing us a video of your microphone. And then other people can join in, record a short video in response to that. And then the next person can actually come on, watch the videos in order from the beginning to the end and almost like join in the conversation. It's super cool because it doesn't require a lot of typing. It doesn't require all kinds of craziness like that. So that's, uh, that's another little feature that you get within the VIP community. And then if at any time you have a question that you want to ask me directly, you can go up here to ask Robert. It's the same uh, volley thing where you can just send me a quick video message or a quick audio message and say, Hey, I was wondering why is cakewalk doing this? Or, you know, do you think this is a good microphone to buy? Like you could literally be standing in guitar center in front of a microphone or something like that and be like, Hey, is this a good purchase? Well, and I could be like answering you in real time. Of course, if time allows, you might be on the other side of the world. I don't know, but, <laughs> but essentially, you know, this is a completely free app. It really doesn't take up much space on your phone or anything like that. So you can download this on your app or on your desktop and you can video chat anytime you'd like. And if you don't have a webcam and you just want to audio chat, that's fine too. So that's another cool feature that I'm adding into the, the VIP dashboard over here or the community rather. And when we go back to the, the dashboard, you also can see we have upcoming events. This is a direct link to um, the calendar. So this will show you like, for instance, it showed right here, had an interview with Mark Letary from Snarky Puppy. That one's already taken place. We have 10 a.m. on Friday, we got an interview with Sarah Carter. That's just to help you sort of keep up to speed with some interviews that I might be having or anything special that I might be having as well. So um, I think that's a, a really cool way of, of just getting quick insights as to what might be happening. This section here, exclusive discounts, these are gonna be add, added to as well. Like literally guys, this is just in its infancy stage. So um, right now you can get 7% off your first year with DistroKid. I'm still working on getting a hold of Ghostfire Audio. My email went to their undeliverable. So I need to find out if I can still get 25, 20 percent off of their gear. Probably should take that off there until I find out. But anyway, uh, we have a frequency finder. This is just a link to a website that's already online, but it's just a quick, easy way to find it. Basically, you can hover your mouse over any of these areas and it'll show you where it lies in the, uh, the frequency spectrum. Also tells you about its fundamentals, its overtones. So that's pretty cool. We got a reverb and delay calculator built into the website. So if you're working with reverb or delay, which are both time-based effects, you can enter in your BPMs here. Like let's say it's a 95 BPM song. You can calculate that there and then it will tell you at 95 BPMs, a quarter note will have a duration of 631.58 milliseconds. That's useful if you've ever watched any of the videos on the live mixing sessions that we've done around here. That's very useful to get your reverb and your delay to be in sync with the tempo of the song. And then we have multi-tracks. Now this section of multi-tracks, as you can see, is multi-tracks for portfolio usage. So you can come in here and actually use any of these here on your portfolio. And actually I've just uploaded this today. Thanks to Mob the Gamer, we now have Side to Side, the song that he released. And we also have, thanks to the January Song Contest winner, Karenga Karangi Karengai Pona, which by the way, I looked up and it means to be enchanted. Um, we also have, Let's see, I think I just uploaded a new set of multi-tracks too. I think I'm pretty sure I've uploaded like three different multi-tracks today. So it's it's being updated all the time um, with a ton of multi-tracks. Let me actually check. I did not, but here's another set being uploaded right before your very eyes. <laughs> so... These are going to be updated all the time. You're going to have access to a huge number of multi-tracks. Now, all of the multi-tracks within this folder here, these are going to be the ones that are um, ones that not only you can add your, your portfolio, but there will be ones that will not have like copyright strikes or nothing like that. And if anything happens and 
you know, you try to post these, you'll have access to the individuals so that they can say, oh, okay, yeah, I can, this is from a VIP member. Yeah, go ahead and whitelist that. So if you want to post that mix for other people to hear it, then they can whitelist it. Like say, for instance, the side to side multi-tracks are from Mob the Gamer. You post your song on YouTube. He gets flagged for it. He reaches out to you or you reach out to him and say, hey, I wanted to use these. Can you white flag it? Basically, it'll go through without any copyright strikes or anything like that. Okay, and then next there is a samples section. Now, as of right now, this is going to lead you straight to the BandLab Sounds library, which is a huge library of packs, loops, one shots. It, there's, it's, it goes on forever. And actually, a lot of them are very good quality. So that's just sort of the quick down and dirty of, of what it would look like if you were a VIP member. So if you're interested in signing up, the link is actually in the chat right now. It's pinned at the top, and it's also in the description of the video. However, if you use the link that's in the chat right now, you're going to get 50% off your first month. So you can join for $4.99 for the first month. And then after that, it will be $9.99 a month moving forward. And you can pay with either Stripe or you can pay with PayPal, which essentially allows you to pay with anything you want to. So we need classical music analysis vids. <laughs> if I can unzip them things, I will, by golly. Okay, so... Let's see. Make sure I'm not missing any questions here. Ba -da -ba -ba. Okay, so perhaps in reference to video question and not that it is a big deal. I tried some older DXIs from Sonar, failed to get them working. I assume they no longer work. I'm, yeah, probably. So what is your themes? So I have the HSS Cakewalk theme. Let me bring these comments back up on the screen so you guys can see that. Yeah, so I have the HSS Cakewalk theme. That's the one that we're seeing right now. And then if I go up here to uh, Edit, Preferences. I didn't make a lot of these themes because what I noticed was as soon as I would create the theme, they would update Cakewalk, and then the theme would have to be updated as well. And I was like, man, I don't want to keep doing that every five minutes. And so this is the Sheen theme. This is like a darker theme. If you don't want the bright blues and stuff like that going on, you can just use this theme here. And it's got sort of like this. As you can see, it's kind of like an Apple app, so it makes things look a little shiny. My favorite part, honestly, of this one, though, is the, the console view. And, of course, I have no tracks, so it's going to look a little bit different. But as you can see, like, the knobs look shiny. Um, and then when, like, you open up the EQ, the EQ looks shiny. It just, I think it looks sleek, which is why it's called the sleek the sheen theme actually sorry so yeah that's what those uh various themes there look like da, 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 da. if you're interested in joining the vip group go over and check out the website here thank you so much for that gotta love these moderators man these guys are all over it okay let's see I came here to learn about music production, but finding the technical part more and more enjoyable. <laughs> you mentioned Pond5. Do people make much money from those places like Audio Jungle, etc.? Or is it like anything else? A few people making lots and the rest pennies or less. Um, you know, honestly, I'm not... I'm probably not the right person to ask about that because... My main sort of job, if you want to call it that, is actually mixing other people's music. I do a little bit of, in fact, I just, I'm glad I just said that. I have a client I need to reach out to and make sure he got my email. Uh, he has 14 songs I'm supposed to be mixing soon. And I'm not going to do it right now. I'm going to fight the urge, even though it's it, I'm cringing. Um, <laughs> but I'm more, I do a little bit of artist um, development as far as like helping them to share their music and giving them tips and tricks on how to get it heard. But I'm not the best person to give them that advice either. So I usually will redirect them to uh, someone who is. Um, but with that being said, it's, you know, honestly, it's pretty much like anything else on the market. You have to find what works for you. 
you have to find out what makes the algorithm happy, unfortunately. And then you have to ask yourself the question, can I make the algorithm happy, still do what I love, and yet not sell out my core values? Because, and this is huge, a lot of times what I notice is a lot of these uh, places, you have to almost like give up your core values in order to make it. Like say, for instance, on TikTok. So TikTok is predominantly video driven and they want really quick, snappy things like right now. Well, my particular style is to lay things out in a methodical fashion and to give you all of these scenarios that might surround that. And you cannot do that in a three, even three minute video sometimes. And so I'm using TikTok in a way that is conducive to me without violating my core values. My core values are I want people to learn, to grow, to understand, to be able to dream, create, and achieve. But with those core values in place, I can't get on there and do like a 30 second dance and a 10 second this and a 10 and show some leg. You know, that's that's not me. But that unfortunately is what you got to do to please the algorithm. And unfortunately, um, and I'm just going to throw this out there, but it's true. Uh, if you are showing more skin, if you are being more sexual in your presentations, you're going to get more hits from the algorithm. That's not me. I don't want to do that. I don't even want to be a part of that. So do I sit back and complain and say, it's all the fault of them. Others making millions because of, but they're willing to sell out to something that may not even be them. So at the end of the day, you have to ask yourself, like, what is my price tag? What am I willing to give up to become TikTok famous or Instagram famous? And can I do that without violating those core values? There are ways to do it. You just have to find what works for you. So I think that's probably the best, best way to approach that. So for your question, thank you for, for asking the question, because honestly, it needed to be addressed. So. So Chris says, I found an old recording of a song I wrote to commemorate my mother. Now all I got to do is figure out how to play it and how to use Cakewalk. Awesome. So if you need any help with that, I guarantee you, um, myself or other individuals here within the community will be able to help with that. I actually, I'd love to see you submit that for the, uh, the song contest. I'd like to hear it. Question to the guys who program MIDI drums in Cakewalk. Do you prefer to use the drum grid in the piano roll with drum maps or the step sequencer? Okay, so for me personally, now I'm not a drum programmer by any right, and for those of you that have followed this channel, you also know that I uh, <laughs> am not a big fan of MIDI, although I do use it on a lot of projects. Uh, the main thing that I use MIDI for is for drums, but I use addictive drums, and so with addictive drums, if I was to pull it up right now, Let's see here. With addictive drums, what you'll notice is it pretty much has the patterns already laid out for you. You just have to like maybe rearrange some things here and there. So if I was to open this up, I could go to my drum patterns, my beats, and it will show me down here. Like this is your beat. And so typically speaking, what I normally do is I like to hire out or bring someone on to collaborate with me uh, that is willing to do that for free or just, you know, because they want to. Um, someone who actually plays a real drum or maybe they even play MIDI drums, but they can play them with more feel and it won't be necessarily all locked into a grid. So what I do is um, I'll find a beat that I like, like let's say this one. I go, okay, I can write a song to that. So then I'll come over here. I'll click and drag loud beat two into here. And there you go. Now, as, as long as I have this lined up here, of course it's 120 BPM. So I'll bring that down to 85. Let's see what that does. Okay. Now, for me personally, if I wanted to go in here and edit something, I would go in here and open up the, um, the piano roll view and edit it that way. Now, there's other ways to do this, obviously. Uh, like Jurgen was just saying, there is the drum sequencer. There's the 
uh, the MIDI map. There's different ways to edit these things. So, but honestly, for me, like if I wanted to add, like let's say right here, I wanted to add a little. I'm just going to click and drag that in there and put it there. That's just personally how I work. What I would do though is basically I would get, and I've done completely MIDI drums, programmed the drums for songs before on my own, for my own songs, where I time, you know, painstakingly went in, adjusted loops, dragged things everywhere and did all that. It's just not my forte. And if you can get a real drummer that has feel that's going to initiate a more human interaction, it's going to be, in my personal opinion, a lot better sounding. But not everybody has that, that option. However, that's another cool part about being a part of the VIP membership club. I'm calling it a club now. The VIP membership is um, eventually I'm going to have the form back up there where you can sign up for what's called the HSS session players. So basically you put your name on this form, you tell us what you can play. And then when somebody is looking for someone else to collaborate on the track with, they can go into that form and they can say, Oh, well, I found out that so-and-so can play drums, bass, and guitar. And I'm going to go ahead and reach out to them and see if they'd be willing to play. So you go back in there, you input your, your, your name and everything. You say, Hey, would you be willing to play drums on this song? You guys can start to collaborate back and forth. And now, You've used the session player list in order to create this symbiotic relationship in within the community for everybody to benefit from. Very cool. Okay, so let's see, where was I? Yeah, Chris, you did not miss anything, brother. You just reach out to me and I'll get you a discount for the next month. Da, 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 da. So Herky says, I modify existing addictive drum patterns in the piano roll. Yeah, exactly. And that's exactly what I just showed there. Thank you again, Bops. As you can see, I'm way behind in the chat here trying to answer these questions. Hey, I appreciate that, Jurgen. Appreciate that greatly. Thank you so much. Okay, okay. Any news on future features? Say that three times fast. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. So yeah, I just, one of the main features that I want to add into this um, is a collaborative feature. I want to add, so as of right now, we have these monthly mix, these monthly uh, song contests where everybody submits a song at the first of the month through the middle of the month, all the way into the last week of the month. On the last week of the month, we all get together and we sit down and we listen to those songs together. And then I give my professional feedback on them as well as individuals within the chat. They all get to talk about those. And then from there, um, we each get this opportunity then to sort of feed off of each other's energies and say like, yeah, we, you know, I could, I could see how that would improve that song or um, and then there's sometimes when people submit songs, it just blows you away and you got nothing to say, but <laughs> from there, uh, an individual gets chosen as a winner and that, that winning is not based off of how necessarily how good the song sounds. Obviously that has something to do with it, but it also is based off of, you know, like what can I showcase to help the entire community with this song? So it's not always how good the song sounds. Sometimes it's like, which one has the most potential that I think I can showcase my skills to show other people to help them like how would this be so with that being said um in the vip membership section what i want to do is sort of the same thing in a more private fashion i want to do a song contest for just vip membership members where then i want to start offering um actual prizes so it might be like once every other month, or it might be, you know, I'm, I'm not sure how I'm going to structure that yet. And that's why I'm not necessarily diving headlong into that as of yet. Um, but I think it would be a very cool way to sort of reward individuals within the membership group for doing that within there, within that sphere. And um, I'm sure you've seen before, like Warren's Feedback Friday and stuff like that. It would be something similar to that. 
um, but not a complete mirror image. It would be something a little bit different, my own twist. As you know, I've, I've always got my own twist on things. So, Excellent questions, guys. Keep them coming. So Chris says, what kind of things do you cover in a consultation? So essentially, that's anything that you have to ask. Um, I've helped individuals all the way over in Romania set up their computer for the very first time and get it up and running with Cakewalk. I've helped um, individuals in Ireland here recently, helped an individual in Ireland who was having this horrible mic problem. And he was actually getting ready to purchase a very high dollar microphone, um, a $6,000 microphone. And so he reached out to me first and I'm so glad he did because he said, um, I'm getting ready to purchase this microphone because I can't get it to sound right in this room. I said, well, what, what's the issue that you're running into? This took a 30 minute consultation that cost him $25 that saved him (laughs) 6,000. So we narrowed it down to the fact that it was just where he had the microphone placed in the room. He moved the microphone to a different place in the room, re-sang a take, played it back, and he was like, oh my goodness, that was it. The microphone was not the problem. It was just where I had it in the room. So those consultations can be anything from, you know, helping you get your system set up. It can be life questions. I had an individual that hired me out for a consultation that literally just wanted to talk about his depression, which is completely fine. I had no problem because I actually used to suffer with that in my adolescent years a lot. And when, whenever he heard my, um, one of my recent podcasts, well, I shouldn't say recent, one of my older podcasts about musicians and depression, he reached out and said, I want to consult just for that. We ended up talking about depression and how music can actually help that. We ended up praying before we got off of that session. It was super cool. So yeah, those can be about anything. Great question though. So Keith says, by the way, it's good to see you again, Keith. Haven't seen you in a while. He says, I like the reverb calculator. I tested it out for some weirdness on granular sound design. Oh, cool. If anybody can do it, it's definitely you. Man, that guy has, he submitted a song not too long ago, and I cannot remember the name of it right now. I think it was like Cerebral something. But man, that thing, I literally, like listening to it, I was getting dizzy. He had so much like stuff going on. It was, it was awesome. Okay, so Keith Ferris says, I recently recorded an acoustic guitar in comping mode with three takes. After selecting the parts of each of the takes into the final track, how do I convert them into one track? That's a very good question. Let's go ahead and we'll hop on over to the desktop again. And let me get this here off of there. And let's see, what would be the best way to, actually I'll just showcase it like this. So I will insert an audio track and I will set this to comping. Okay. And from here, check one, two. Far over misty mountains cold. Far over misty mountains cold. Are over misty mountains cold. <laughs> so then I got three takes down here. So what I'm going to do is this will be a quick comping video here. Let me zoom into these bad boys. Zoom. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. So you'll notice that the cursor changes based off of the relativity of where it's at on the screen. So in relationship to where it is on the screen. So uh, let's say I want this first take. I'm going to highlight just that one up to that point. That's the only part of that take that I want. But then I noticed um, I really liked this portion of the second take. Well, I'm going to highlight that portion of the second take. Now, the way that you can actually hear these is just simply solo out that take. Far over misty mountains cold. Okay. Far over misty mountains cold. Okay, so I like this last part better because of the vibrato. So I'm going to highlight that, bring it back in here. Okay, so essentially, as you can see, I've just done some quick comping here. Uh, I'm going to make sure that I take off this solo. That's going to let me hear what the comp sounds like as of now. Far over messy mountains cold. (laughs) So I included some of those goofy takes in there just to see 
and and to show you exactly um, how it works. So basically, I'm gonna it's gonna create this one file now. So what I got to do is if I keep this open here, I'm gonna right click up here. Oops. So I'm gonna collapse it, right click on it, and then there is. I can either do this bounce to clip or let me uh, disarm the recording feature here. There's also where's it at? I'm trying to find that. Where is it? It's not bounced a clip. It's called. What is that called? Flatten comp. There it is. So I had to select it. So if I select it, click and drag over it, then it allows me to flatten comp. So what that's going to do is it's going to flatten all of those into one single track right here. But the cool thing about this is it still allows me to keep my previous takes. So if I ever want to go back and change those, I can. But as of right now, it's flattened all of this into one track. And this is what it sounds like. Far over messy mountains cold. <laughs> A little glitchy there, but you can see um, that was my timing, I'm sure. So now if I didn't want to use that, this will be comp one. I'll go ahead and take that out. Far over messy mountains. Let me go ahead and remove that part. Far over messy mountains cold. Okay. Bring this back a little too. Far over messy mountains cold. Other uh, option here is just simply to. Oh, now it's going to let me do it. Craziness. Select it all and then just bounce it to a clip. Now, the problem with that is, as you can see, it's taken away now all of those tracks that were below it. So the comp is now missing. Of course, I can control Z and undo that. But if you want to keep the comp takes, you can simply use the flatten comp by right clicking on the WAV file here. If you want to um, go ahead and, and, you know, marry that thing, commit to it, then you can also uh, just bounce it to a clip. All right. So Micah would like to see a chat box. Okay. I'll see if I can do that. Robert's video on comping. Oh, it won't let you uh, post a link in there, buddy. Sorry about that. <laughs> Thanks, Jurgen and DJ. I think you'd have to be a moderator. Yes, that's the way I have it set up because I had got to keep down on some spamminess that was going on in here for a while. I found that comping with the take lanes a bit clunky to use. I have to try it again and again to get used to it. Flattening the takes after is important once all the decisions are made. Yes. Herky, it's best not to do too many takes. One can get lost in the endless rabbit hole of the best. That's true, too. In fact, I actually recommend doing three to five takes at the most. Five at the very most. Usually, you can, it, three takes ought to be more than enough to nail it. Like I said, as soon as I get that thing unzipped, there are two different comping modes, comping and quick comping. Depending on the situation, one or the other may work better. We should do a contest, contest for the wackiest and most unusable theme. That would be cool. Definitely. I once saw you use a VST plugins in the pro channel and controlling it with custom knobs. Could you show us how? Absolutely. Okay. So 
Let's see. Best way to do this. Hmm. Let me open up the pro channel down here. Okay. Let me turn on the pro channel. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert an FX chain. This is a really cool feature of Cakewalk. Okay. So in within this FX chain, now I can house different effects. Imagine that. And all I have to do is simply go down here to insert audio effects. It has to be down here at the bottom, Robert. <laughs> I was trying to put knobs up there. So I can go in here and I can say, I want a VX64 vocal strip. I want the de enabled and I want uh, the companion section enabled automatically. And then after that, I want it to go into a de again. Okay. And uh, then after that, let's see. Then after that, I want it to go to, we'll just throw in a side cue here. Okay. So now that I have these three here, I can actually move them around in order based off of how I'd like for them to be featured. So I'm going to have the side cue at the very end, or actually I'm going to have the side cue in the middle with the DS right at the end. Okay. And so now um, what I can do here is I can add a knob. I'm going to call this one um, DS1. Okay, so this is going to be connected to the VXC 64 vocal strip. And I'm going to use this to enable or disable the de -esser. Or actually, let me do it this way. I'm going to open up this. And I'm going to go to DS depth. How about that? Okay, so the start is going to be 0%, which means it's going to be completely off. 100% means it will be completely up. Okay, so as of right now, it looks like it's starting out at 40%. So now if I open up this plugin, and I control the DS knob here, as you can see, the depth knob is changing next to it. Okay, and now let's say I want another, let's add a button. I'm going to call this one. Um, let's, let's call it mute. Okay. We're going to set this one to the very end chain and we're going to go to choose a parameter and we will go to master level. Okay, now when I open up the side queue and I click this off, that's going to essentially mute that because the master level is going to be a 0% when off. I can set that up in a wide variety of ways too. And so here is the input and the output volumes. I can actually automate each and every one of these things to work in tandem with one another. So here's a cool feature that you could, here's kind of a cool way you could do this. So. Let me show you, uh, let me show you something cool here. Let's do, let's insert an audio effect and let's just do, hmm, let's go with a tool. We'll insert the DIFX plugin. Okay. And Then we're going to insert a saturation plugin. Let's use the Faturator. Love this thing. Kilo Heart did an awesome job making this plugin. And then I want to insert another DIFX. Now, essentially, all I'm using it for is the in and out with that little bit of grit there in the middle. So on the first knob, I'm going to create 
it's going to be input or it can be input two. <laughs> I'm going to set this to the DIFX one, choose a perimeter and I'm going to call this in. Okay. And then I'm going to add another knob and I'm going to call this one Sati for saturation. And I'm going to connect this to the drive of the fatturator. Okay. Now I'm going to add another knob and I'm going to call this one output. And I'm going to connect this one to the DIFX2 out. So also, based off of where I place these on the position, it's going to tell me where they're at on the actual uh, board here. So if I place this on six, it's going to place the knob way over here. So it's like one, two, three, four, five, six. And at, at any time I can go up here and uh, customize that, sorry, customize that. I can set the, give it a different image, set a different background image. I mean, there's, it, there's all kinds of stuff you can do here. So uh, that's the default. But what if I wanted to do this? Look at that. Now it's got this woody look. Okay. If I go in here and select edit control, I can actually move that wherever I'd like. So essentially now what I've created though is a saturation chain. So I can send something through this FX chain and by adjusting this, I can then adjust the input going into the drive of the fatturator, as you can see. And then I can set an output based off of how much of that I want to drive into the signal. Super cool. Awesome. So apparently, um, let's see. Can't hear me on Twitch. Well, that's not cool. Probably hear me now, but then I'm going to hear myself too. Let's see. Awesome. So apparently, um, let's see. Yeah. <laughs> let's see if that worked. So for those of you that are watching on Twitch or you're watching on Facebook, let me know if you can hear me. I'm not sure if I got that right. Anyway. All right, trying to get back to these. What is up, Jose? I seen X dot in the chat. There he is. What is up X dot? If you guys have not checked out his channel, please go and check out his channel. You owe it to yourself to do so. If you are into beat making, by the way, we had a, a question earlier about uh, beat making. If you are into beat making, go and check out his channel. The gamer, mob the gamer, insert the FX chain module to the pro channel. There you can add any VST. Good deal. Sweet. Let's give him a round of applause. Made his first beat today. And X dot helped him. Awesome. I believe he does. I will answer for him if he hasn't answered already. Well, I would, but all I know how to do so far is how to lay out the basic recording down. Still going through the tutorial on the website. Awesome. I know how to add it. I just liked how he controlled it with the knobs. Oh, okay. Anybody got any free 808 packs? I 
I do not, but I think X dot does. Looks like uh, DJ has already posted a link to his website as well, or to, uh, to his YouTube as well. Thanks for that. Thank you, Jeff. You just made my day, buddy. Good deal, good deal. Yeah, there he is. What is up, X? Additional comment on the drug programming. Drum programming. I used the piano roll drum grid so far. I recently looked at the step sequencer and I think they have a big overlap duplication of functionality. Can you share any creature comforts that you use in your studio? Uh, define what a creature comfort is and I'd be happy to do so. Any news on the any future features? Not sure if Jeff Clark meant Cakewalk or the VIP membership. Oh, as far as... Um, Cakewalk is concerned. Um, to be honest, they've been kind of quiet about things here lately. I don't know. I know they just released an auto-tune plug-in for the BandLab app. Uh, and they've kind of been focusing more on the BandLab side of things. So I'm not sure. Which, by the way, if you guys did not know, there is a giveaway that's going on, going on right now. And this month, instead of doing a normal song contest like we normally do, we're doing a song contest slash giveaway with IK Multimedia and BandLab. So if you're interested in getting in on that, there is also a link in the description of the video for that. And it's also on the website under the giveaway tab. You'll see up there at the top. What is up, Tiger? Thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. Okay, is there a place in the collaboration tab to upload takes, or is it just a place to find people to collab with? Yeah, I mean, it's a collaboration tab, so you can use that tab for whatever you want to use it for. If you want to get feedback, that might be more for the feedback tab. If you want to use that for collaborating with someone else, like, hey, here's a take. What would you do with this? What could you do with this? Then, yeah, that's, that's a better place for that, so... I wonder when Cakewalk by BandLab will have Ableton-like looping session view. It actually, it does, but it's not, um, let's see if I can find it here. It's not quite like Ableton. Of course, it's, it's not Ableton. Let me, um, let's see, let's bring up, uh, Was I, where was I going with this? Let's bring up this here. Okay. Let's get that out of there. And then. So there is a step recorder. Uh, that's definitely one way to do it. Oops. Hey, that FX chain is working really good, by the way. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting lost in the weeds. See, let's bring this up. So essentially, what I want to do is I want to use this for the matrix view. So this is essentially like sort of like an Ableton type thing here where you can import a file into here. Uh, let's see. Let's see here. Let me just use something real quick here. Like. 
this. Okay, and then on this row here, I'm going to import another file. And it'll be this one. And then on this row here, I'm going to import another file. And it's going to be this one. Okay, so it's a little bit longer, so it's going to take a minute. So essentially what I can do, though, is I can set the latch feature here or just play straight through. So looper latch. And uh, as you can see here, latch mode is on if it's enabled. And here's the loop mode. So. Anytime I can turn those off. I'm going to make this a one shot trigger. Or I can clear the cell that way. So yeah, it's, it's got sort of a looper um, that you can definitely use in a, in a live setting. Um, it may not be as robust as Ableton, but I'm sure it could be used. So, Waves is giving away something on the 15th this month for free. Anybody checked it, looks like they're giving a sampler or a sample pack. Who knows? Yeah, I don't know. I probably won't check that out, though. Not a big fan of Waves. Everybody knows it. Yeah, so this here is the matrix view. That's exactly what he was, what he was saying. There's also another, um, so there's matrix view, and then there's a, where is it at? Yeah, loop construction, but then there's a drum. Look, there was another one. Step sequencer, that's it but it cannot be viewed unless you're actually yeah so yeah there's a looper built in there but you just got to figure out how to use it exactly it does work though I would like to cash in my song feature today and since I showcase my vocal chains and technique on the VIP community I would like to show off the vocals only or party till three, if that's okay. Yeah, absolutely. Send them on over, brother. Now you have to submit your email ID. Check, check in their community tab and there will be a post to have. Really, they're going all out. Wow. <laughs> scenes in Ableton Live run vertically, but in Cakewalk, they run horizontally. They can all be triggered in the same fashion, though. Oh, thanks for that. Man, you guys are getting quick here. Just messing. How good is the matrix view for live looping? Thanks. Um... So I actually have, I can't say that I've ever used it like that. That would actually be a good, a good case point though. What is up Blake Bowman? Ladies and gentlemen, we got a newcomer. Oh yeah. So let's see. Yeah, it's control and shift if you want to time stretch something. So that's slowed down by 400%.
<laughs> does putting effects on the FX change save CPU? I don't think it does. I think it just is a way to kind of create a chain. So for me, one of the ways that I like doing is creatively, like I just did there where I created like a saturation thing. Um, but I really like using it for like a vocal chain. So everything is on that one plugin. And then like you don't have 50 plugins that you're looking at. You can just open up that one FX chain and go, okay, I need to adjust this, this. Especially if you only adjust like five or six settings among all of those plugins anyway. It just helps us kind of save time and make things a little more pleasing to the eye. Right. What is a chain? Is it multiple effects layered one after the other? Yes, we just covered that. Please note the effects has an input and an output fader. Yes, I did cover that as well. Here's the input fader, output fader, and you can add as many plugins into this chain as you want. So get crazy with it. You just can't control them individually until you put knobs on here. And you have buttons. So uh, with buttons, you can do things like muting, turning certain features on and off, which can be great too. If like you have a reverb and you're wanting to hear what the reverb tail sounds like, you can like create a kill switch for the reverb. So you can like play something and then bypass it real quick and it creates that kill switch. So you can actually hear the reverb tail. Right. Exactly. Are there any themes available, not the old one for sonar that have compatibility issues? Yes, I do have two themes um, within the VIP membership group, or you can buy them on eBay. One of them is the theme that you're looking at right now, and then the other is the HSS Cakewalk theme. And neither one of these that I know of right now have any compatibility issues. However, if you run into a situation where um, one of your purchases has compatibility issues, you just simply email me and I will make it right. So, we can hear you. Well, what is up, Randy Schwag? Okay, if you click the link pinned to the top of the chat. Oh, okay. Question regarding detect tempo with audio file. Is there a way to change detected tempo? Say you expect 70, but the detect tempo sets to 140. You know, that's a good question. Um, I'm pretty sure. So if I go in here right now to automation transients, double click on this, it's going to say my average tempo is negative 21. That's because <laughs> I actually... Uh, I can see that because I slowed it down like crazy. Um, but I believe from here, you can actually have it follow the project. So as you can see, it changed it there. Um, but there's also a way to, you can set from the project clip or you can have the clip follow the project. There's also a way to, to quantize it here. Um, But I, I think the, the easiest way to do that would just be if you have something like that would just be to use the uh, tempo track. So I got to remember how to get to it, though. Yeah, it's right here. So if you use the tempo track. Alt T, that's what it was. And close the video track. This tempo track will allow you to adjust things on the fly too. So, um, and it'll show you a real time representation of where it where it's at. So check this out. Far over <laughs> that was crazy. Oh, like chairs, desk lights, and gadgets. Gotcha. Okay, so real quickly, 
Let's see if I got uh, enough. Yeah, let's see if I got enough um, juice here on the old phone. And here's what we'll do. We will, let's go over here to, oops, wrong button. Hey, uh, Luke, I noticed that you're watching on Facebook. Can you let me know in the chat if you can hear me over there, buddy? Thank you. All right. And then we're going to go to here. Okay. You guys ready for this? Here we go. Okay, so what you're looking at right now is my desktop. So if I, there are some things that I could say that definitely help as far as doing what I'm doing. What's up, Rashik? Uh, this bad boy right here has been a major help. This is the Rode, Rodecaster Pro. So this thing here is a beast. This is where I get all of my, like, intro music. Laugh track. Crowd cheers. And I can set the volume of those, like how loud they're going to be. Here. With this fader. I can uh, take the, have the ability to take in phone calls with Bluetooth. I can plug a phone in with this little bad boy right here. And uh, take phone conversations without any echo or feedback. Here's the volume level for the stream that I'm hearing from the desktop. I also have four different inputs here. Uh, as far as aesthetics, when it comes to lights, whoosh, look at that bad boy. Whoosh, look at that bad boy. And then of course we got, whoosh, look at this bad boy. So uh, of course we can't, we can't forget the old lava lamp. You gotta have a lava lamp. Um, and then of course the sure microphone can't, can't beat the sure microphone. So yeah, uh, as far as a studio chair is concerned, this was actually a, um, Christmas present. This was actually a nice little Christmas present from the wifey. Uh, it's a very comfortable chair I got off of Amazon. If you'd like to know which chair I'm using, it's very, very comfortable, by the way. And the arms, they swivel up. So if you're going to play guitar, you can move that out of the way. And if you have a dog toy laying right there. <laughs> uh, and then also, of course, you got to have, you know, a Darth Vader cup full of paintbrushes that is actually used for dust removal, as well as pens and pencils. <laughs> and coffee mm. obviously another big thing are these right here which if you go to uh, the website you'll see a uh, recommended tab that takes you to everything that I use you can click on that tab it'll take you at the, at the bottom of that there's a entire gear list of everything that I use here to do these podcasts to do these live shows it's all done there all right. Hopefully I'm getting to all these questions. It seems he is using the standard dark theme. Uh, no. That was my sheen theme. It looks like the dark theme, but it's a little differently. Yeah, that's, you know, there's people that's uh, stopped by the channel before that have Time and time again, been like, man, I've been using this for 20 years and didn't even know that existed. So. <laughs> awesome. I'm going to go pull that out right now. 
So Mob is actually, he won a song contest feature. I'm sorry, I was trying to make sure that Luke can actually hear me. Um, and because he won the song contest feature, we're going to go ahead and pull his song out and we're all going to take a little listen to it. Well, per the uh, email that I just got, we're actually going to be listening to just the vocals only, but I can't believe you're going to do that, man. You're going to bury your soul like that. That's crazy. Listening to the vocals only. Man, I just got a lot, and I mean a lot of song submissions. And I really hope that these song submissions are for And now, if, if these song submissions that I'm getting are for the HSS monthly song contest, they'll probably have to wait until the month of, let's see, March. Yeah, March. Because February, the month of February, the song contest is uploaded at a different place. And that's on the website. You'll upload them there. And those are the ones that will be entered into the drawing uh, and be listened to by the judges. Got some cool judges, by the way, lined up. All right, got the song downloaded. We're ready to go. Awesome. Just going to open up a blank project here. Yeah, I remember the big update when the Skylight interface came to be, and everybody was like, what? What is this? It was, a, and it still is. I mean, it's, Cakewalk has been ahead of the game a lot of times. Just people have, there's never been enough people using it. Or I should say there's never been enough, quote unquote, big names that have told people that they're using it. Because there's a lot of people, even big names that have used it, but there's just not a lot of them that have come out and said, hey, we're using Cakewalk. Because most of the time they're like, it doesn't matter what we're using. We're just making music. All right. So we got Muhammad. Faur, or the Minister of Badness. We got his song wrote in here. Mark George is still writing his submission. Good deal. <laughs> Don't forget to write mine too. You can say sync cakewalk to Ableton Live using Rewire. That can get interesting. Ooh, really? Hmm. I use cakewalk instrument everywhere, especially the strings. I love them. Awesome. Yeah, they do sound pretty good. Just trying to get through these comments real quick, make sure I'm not missing anything. Hmm, that's a good point. Some Cakewalk plugins I've tried to open in Studio One give an error message that say they're only licensed for Cakewalk. Wally World is closed, kids. <laughs> good deal, good deal. I think I'm finally getting to the end of the comments. Can't make music without it. That's right. Thank you, Sam, too. Appreciate that. Well, thank you. No, uh, there's no song length limit for the submissions. Obviously, you want it to be something where myself and the judges won't have a hard time listening through, you know, seven minutes of a loop. But if you can keep it interesting, absolutely. I hope the drawing is an original Da Vinci. Be well, all. <laughs> Thank you. 
And thank you for the super chat, buddy. I appreciate that. Okay. I have finally got to the end of all the comments. I cannot believe it. Good deal. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Okay. And let's do this. All right. So this is the vocals to Party Till 3, the clean version. Thank you. Thank you, Mom. Um, oh, it's a custom build, Tiger. It's a custom build. So let's take a listen. By the way, uh, Mob actually broke down his entire vocal chain, how he did this over on the VIP membership site. So if you want to check that out, it's over there waiting on you. Don't think you've ever seen someone as cool as me. Oh, now nah, I see you glance at me. My feet keep leading me to ya. Why don't we dance the night and dim the lights and have good time? Cause every moment that we waste, we leave in haste and say goodbye. Why don't we dance the night and dim the lights and have good time? Not every moment that we chase, we lose the race and wave the sign. Girl, you wanna party till three? Baby, don't you want me to see? Let's be crazy, just you and me. Oh, if you wanna party till three. Baby, don't you want me to see? Let's be crazy, just you awesome. and me. Oh, all right, maybe it's time. In a few, we go inside. Go wild, baby, go wild. We go dance and drink all night. Cause I can't believe no one's party in this heart. It's such a big shame that we waited here to start. I came here to drink every f***ing bait I can. It's such a mistake that we waited here this far. Do you want to party till three? Till three. Baby, don't you want me to see? Let's be crazy, just you and me. Oh. If you wanna party till three, till three. Baby, don't you want me to see? to see? Let's be crazy, just you and me. Oh. Let's party here, talk till dawn. We won't stop until they're gonna know. One tells us what to do and don't stop us now. Don't you stop us? Let's party here, talk till dawn. We won't stop until they're gonna know. One tells us what to do and don't stop us now. Don't you stop us? Pum, pararam. We don't care, we're not done, cause everything we do is not enough, just beware, here we come, a whole lot of love, just say enough, having fun, you looking at my moves, how you done, hear me shout, how you done, same way where we go, all over the place we dance all night long, see me on the floor, way down, screaming, whoa, we're about to move, make way, here we go. Same way where we go All over the place we dance all night long See me on the floor way down screaming whoa We're about to move make way here we go Girl you wanna party till three, till three. Baby don't you want me to see? to see Let's be crazy just you and me yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh. If you wanna party till three, till three. Baby don't you want me to see? to see Let's be crazy just you and me yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh. Why don't we dance the night and dim the lights and have good time? Cause every moment that we waste, we leave in haste and say goodbye. Why don't we dance the night and dim the lights and have good time? Not every moment that we chase, we lose the race and wave the sign. I can't believe no one's party in this heart. It's such a big shame that we waited here to start. I came here to drink every in bed I can It's such a mistake That we waited here this far Same way where we go All over the place we dance all night long See me on the floor way down screaming Whoa, we're about to move make way Here we go Same way where we go All over the place we dance all night long See me on the floor way down screaming Whoa, we're about to move make way Here we go Girl, you wanna party till three? Till three. Baby, don't you want me to see? see. Let's be crazy, just you and me. Oh, 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 oh. Eh. if you wanna party till three? Till three. Baby, don't you want me to see? see. Let's be crazy, just you and me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Girl, you wanna party till three? Baby, don't you want me to see? 
Let's be crazy just you and me Oh, if you wanna put it to three Baby, don't you want me to see? Let's be crazy just you and me Oh Nice Excellent use of reverb and delays Excellent use of I like the rhythmic feature there By the way And that was already stated in the chat But it was very, very cool um, if you guys have not checked out the song as of yet, I'm sure it's on Spotify. Uh, actually, you can go ahead and post the link to that here in the chat. He is a moderator. So if you want to post the link to that song so everybody can go and check that out, feel free to do so. Very good work as usual. If you want to know how he was able to do that, if you want to know his vocal chain that he used, go and check it out on the VIP membership site. He put a post there. Um, and I can actually, well, you'll, you'll find it in there. Uh, it, I would stumble around trying to find it right now. But, uh, yeah. So, all right. If there's no more questions, we're going to go ahead and call this a uh, Dunsky. I appreciate all the questions that I did get. And if you have any questions regarding the 50% off membership uh, for the next three days, let me know about that. If you've already signed up for the membership, uh, thank you so much for that. And um, there is a link at the very... It should be pinned here in the chat. Uh, that will get you 50% off the first month. And then after that, you're going to get... Um, oh, he wants a link to the song. Hello. <laughs> okay. Oh, he has not released it as of yet. Okay. Sorry about that. I thought he was asking for a link to the VIP community. Sorry about that. Jeff, you have a great day, man. Appreciate you being on here, being another voice of reason in my madness. Good deal. For those of you who are in the um, VIP membership, thank you so much for your feedback. Keep giving me that feedback. And like I said, I'm going to need your help in the, in the days that come to know exactly how we want to roll things out. and. Um, I think it's going to be a good thing. It's going to be a really good thing. So as of right now, I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. I'm going to tend to the family, take care of the dog, do a little loving on the dog. Um, try to get some dinner together. The wife should be home in about 10 minutes. So um, likewise, I, I would ask that each and every one of you would just uh, keep me in your prayers. There's still a situation going on. We don't know what's going to happen with my job. Uh, and that will definitely throw a cog in the wheel of everything if uh, my job goes bye-bye. Not that I can't find another job, but I, I will lose the structure of what we're doing here and it may get crazy for a while and then I may have to end up eventually. I don't even want to talk about it. But anyway, um, with that being said, uh, share that VIP link with as many people as you can. Go to the, the store page, the HSS store page, and share that with as many people as you can. Um, any kind of, uh, income would be greatly appreciated, especially right now. So everything's up in the air. We don't know. Uh, with that being said, <laughs> mob, the gamer, he's all over it. You know what time it is. We can't end the stream without doing the wheel of awesomeness. That's right. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're unfamiliar with what the wheel of awesomeness is, Basically, we spin the wheel and cool stuff happens. All right. Now I'm just going to spin it. Yeah, I, I don't. Uh, I, there's no other, no other way to be but positive, man. It's the only way to be. Oh, yeah. A worry is. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about it. I know God's got this. He always does. So now I'm just going to get over here. Do, 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 do. The wheel is wanting to be contrary right now, so. Might take a minute here. There we go. Let's spin that bad boy. All right, a tutorial video request. So by way of the chat, 
what is a tutorial that you would like to see here on the channel? Let me know by way of the chat. And it doesn't have to be a tutorial necessarily either. What guest would you like to see me bring on to the channel? I appreciate that tiger. You know he is, man. You know he is. You never know, it might be a blessing in disguise. What's the old saying when, when a door closes? When God closes a door, he opens up a window. So, it's true. I've seen it happen. All right, so we have spun the wheel of awesomeness. What kind of... <laughs> you guys... Oh, uh, you guys are crazy. How to use auto-tune on Cakewalk. Okay. I don't... I don't personally have an auto tune, but I do have Melodyne. I have M auto, M auto, what's that called? M auto pitch, which works a lot like that. Um, but up, up, um, however, Band Lab has the new auto tune thing going on. So impulse responses. Okay. Drum maps. Ugh, ouch. Not a big fan of drum maps. Okay. DJ Big Red 81, thank you so much, man, for signing up. Appreciate that. Lot of my installer. Our nightingale is no more. Oh no, dude. That's that's a bummer. Yeah, I would like to have Mark George on the show sometime soon. That would be nice. Can we use Melodyne for vocals in Cakewalk? Yes. Yeah. It actually used to have. I think I've got a tutorial on that actually on the channel already. Interview with Mark George. Mark, it's going to happen, man. Everybody's telling you it's going to happen. We just got to get you. Uh, get you out of your shell, brother. Nice. <laughs> I I can guarantee you it would be it would be an awesome interview. It would be an awesome interview. Okay, so with that being said, we have spun the wheel of awesomeness. We have given homage where homage was due. We've had a good time. We've asked a lot of questions. We've answered a lot of questions. We've talked a lot about the VIP membership. We've also talked a lot about my themes and we've Hopefully you've left from today. You will leave from today going, wow, I actually learned something today. Um, where is this year? <laughs> nice. No. It's cozy. See? Yeah, Mark, you're, you are... You are in the crosshairs, brother. They're not going to let you go until you get it. Well, no, seriously, though, we do need to set up something. I think it would be cool to have you on here and we could chit chat, talk about your process of music making, what inspires you to write songs. I better not give away all the questions just yet. I can throw a couple curveball questions at you at the end of the. We need to do this, man. Mark, hit me up. You owe me. Ooh, I'm going to pull that card. I'm going to pull that card. Okay. Anyway, I love each and every one of you, and I thank you all so very much for stopping by the channel today. Remember, we can dream alone. We can even create alone, but together, we can achieve so much more. Let's give some shout-outs to these individuals before we go. Thank you so much for uh, pledging your... Okay, so that was through Patreon. Thank you for the follow if you are on Facebook, and also thank you for uh, subscribing. You guys are awesome. Thank you so very much. Until next time, you all know what. Let's just dream alone. Let's just create alone. No, because we can achieve so much more together. Bye-bye.